Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For this weekly video, I thought I'd talk you through one of the first layouts I used in my journal and one that I call my good old faithful because I still use it to this day. The benefit for me of this layout is it doesn't have huge daily box space. I did have a comment from a really lovely subscriber in a previous video that said that they were a little bit put off by bullet journal spreads that had big daily spaces because they didn't always feel like they had enough to fill it up with. I completely get that. There's nothing worse than having a big space for it to daily and then two bullet points on it. it. Kind of feels a little bit defeated. So I've got six boxes that are gonna run across the top of this journal page and I'm gonna have a seventh one underneath the last square on the right hand side. These are my daily boxes. If you have a Scribbles That Matter journal or a Dingbats, then your sizing will be the same as mine. These daily boxes that I'm drawing in now are eight squares by eight squares or eight dots by eight dots. Potato, potato, you get the point. Um, and then on the left hand side at the bottom, I'm just gonna fill in that rest of that space with one big box and split that box into half. This is the box that I'm really going to be living in for my weekly. So the boxes are along the top, they're going to be much smaller and they are just for specific things in the week. Things like appointments or work days. Um, they're not really to-do lists, they're just stuff you know that there's going to be coming up in the week. That's where I'm going to stick them. But I mean, it's that big box on the left hand side that's going to be my running to-do list, my notes, my shopping ingredients um, list. Absolutely anything is going to get put into that left hand um, box. And I just find when you don't have a lot on in a day, you're not, you're not wasting any of that space because you can just fill it up with, I don't know, ideas that you want to do or stuff you need to buy from the shop or things you want to do. It could be a gratitude page where you write out stuff that you want to do in your life. It can be anything you like. And then on the right hand side, I've got lots of little boxes that I've put together and I will go through and show you all the different weeklies and how I've used these boxes on the right. Let me whisk you back to 2016 with my first journal, a dotted moleskin, and just to show you how I've used some of these layouts in the past. I have previously, when I first started, sort of had a section for meals and menu planning and things to remember. I've always had a quote, that's been my one, one thing that stuck with me all these years. Um, menu planning's never really been my thing, so that kind of turned into more of a doodle space. But let's just take a small wee moment for the bleed through in this moleskin. It was pretty horrific. Um, so the menu planning didn't work, so I've turned that into doodles. I find that space on the left is more than enough for me to get everything that I want down. And then from my moleskin, we head to the Nuna. This is a Nuna A5 dotted journal and it, I just didn't get on with it. I think the notebook's built fine. I think the quality's fine. Just not for me, I'm afraid. But I still use the same layout, still found a way of putting some doodles in there. Um, and from the Nuna, we move on to last year's Scribbles That Matter, which is, I think, where I did the football spread. Um, and again, it's just moving things around to find what fits for you. Um, so for the next week, my weekly is going to be this one. And again, it follows the exact same pattern that we've watched through. I've got my boxes along the top. I've got my note section on the left. I've put a doodle and a quote in on the right because it wouldn't be a spread without that. Um, I've got a space for next week. If things come up, I can put that in so I know what to expect. The tracker's back. We'll see how we get on with that. And of course, there's always a little calendar to show that we're nearly the end of January already. And that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments if you plan on using this style, if you have used it, does it work, does it not, let me know in the comments and as always guys I will see you soon.